Hey guys, Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to calculate the delta H of a reaction or the enthalpy of a reaction using the heat of formation or the delta H of formation. There are many ways to calculate the delta H of a reaction, which you can just pretty much think of as the heat of a reaction, how much heat the reaction either releases or the, how much heat the reaction absorbs. And some of the ways are Hess's law, bond enthalpy, but one of the main ways is heat of formation, and that's what this video is going to cover. So we're just going to start with the equations and then go into two examples so you can see how the equation is applied. So the equation to calculate the delta H of a reaction is the, the delta H of the reaction or the enthalpy of the reaction is equal to the sum of the heat of formation of the products minus the heat of formation value of the reactants. Now the heat of formation values of the reactants and products will have to be given to you, you're not expected to memorize it. So usually you'll see a table as such, which gives you the delta H formation of uh, the reactants and products. And by the way, this little circle right here just means this is standard state. And then another important concept to remember is that the heat of formation of any element in the standard state will be zero kilojoules per mole. So if you see an element in the reaction and it's not given in the table, typically it will be zero kilojoules per mole. All right, so let's jump into two examples and see how to use this, this equation. So we'll have to calculate the delta H of, the, of both of these reactions um, by using the heat of formation. So we just essentially do products minus reactants. So let's just write it out. Delta H of formation equals the products minus the reactants. And then we'll substitute the values in. So the products will be the HCl and the NaNO3. Well, let's take a look at what the value of HCl is. It's negative 127.1, so we'll put a parenthesis, negative 127.1, plus the value of H uh, NaNO3, because it's the sum of products minus the sum of reactants. So NaNO3's value is right here, negative 446.2. So it'll be plus negative 446.2, or just minus 446.2. So that'll be the sum of the products, now minus the sum of the reactants. So let's take a look at the value of AgNO3, which is negative 107, plus the value of the uh, other reactant, NaNO3, and that is negative 407.1, so minus 407.1, and then just plug that into the calculator, and you'll get 65.5 kilojoules per mole of reaction as the delta H of this reaction. So this is an endodermic reaction. Let's take a look at another example where we have to use a, a different concepts. So we're still calculating the delta H of the reaction by using the formation, so we're still going to use products. Whoops, got this part mixed up. This is supposed to say delta H of the reaction. So the delta H of this reaction, the enthalpy of this reaction, is going to equal the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. If you have a coefficient, then you have to multiply the coefficient by the, the delta H of formation value. So we have two ALCL3, so we're going to take two, multiply by the value of ALCL3, which is negative 695.4, plus three times the value of Zn. And we look at this table and we don't see Zn. And that's because Zn is an element that's in its natural state. That's the standard form of Zn. So the value of this will just be zero. So that'll be the sum of the products. Now minus the sum of the reactants. Two times the value of aluminum. We look at the table, we don't see aluminum. And again, that's because aluminum solid is the natural form of the element. So that'll just be zero. So it'll be two times zero plus three times the value of the ZnCl2, which we see is right here. It's going to be uh, negative 487.4. And we just plug down to the calculator, so it'll be 2, let's make, make this look a little easier, 2 times negative 694.4 minus 3 times negative 487.4. And you'll get 71.4 kilojoules per mole. So that's, that's really it. That's how you can calculate the delta H of the reaction using heat of formation. You just 
do products minus reactants. The hard part is just looking up, or the, the tedious part is looking up the values in, in the table and then making sure you enter the numbers into the calculator correctly. And also remembering if you have an element as a, it is in this natural state or standard state, then its formation value will be zero. So typically if you are given an element that you don't see in this table, then you're just expected to know that the value will probably be zero because you're not expected to memorize any of these values. Okay, hopefully that made some more sense and you feel more confident with calculating delta H of reactions using heat information now. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.